Hi everyone, welcome to Tom's Drum Bash. My name is Simon. And in today's episode, we try to get that great drum sound from the early 70s, including bands like Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple and Black Sabbath. Let's go. So let me show you the gear we picked for this video. To get to this sound, you basically need a drum kit with bigger shell sizes. So we picked a Gretsch Brooklyn kit with a 24 inch bass drum, 13 and 16 inch toms, and a 14 by 6.5 Ludwig Superphonic snare drum. The Brooklyn series also features thinner maple poplar shells with 30 degree bearing edges for a more vintage sound. Obviously, Bonham and Pace played an even bigger drum set, but this is a standard shell set size with which you can get very close to the original sound, at least in my opinion. The cymbals. As John and Ian both play Pice the cymbals, we picked a mix of both worlds. So we have a 15 inch giant beat hi-hat, an 18 inch giant beat crash, a 22 inch Pice the 2002 right and a 20 inch Pice the 2002 crash. The drum heads are Remo's vintage coated Emperors on toms and a coated ambassador on the bass drum, which is muffled with a felt strip on both sides. Let's talk about the tuning. We basically have three different ones. We have John Bonham's tuning with a snappy snare drum, high tuned open, almost like timpani sounding toms and a pretty tight tuned open sounding bass drum. Then we tuned down both heads of the toms and bass drum a quarter turn of the drum key, but kept the tuning of the snare drum for the song Black Knight of Deep Purple. For Ivy Star, we tuned the snare drum up and we took off the resonant head of the bass drum, put in a lot of muffling, but didn't touch the tuning. And last but not least, we tuned down the snare drum again and put on some muffling for Black Sabbath's Paranoid. What microphones did we use? The kick sound mainly comes from a Sennheiser E902 with a little blend of Neumann's U67, but you can basically use any dynamic bass drum microphone and a large condenser microphone. For the snare drum, we are using an MD421 from Sennheiser on top and no bottom mic. The toms have a little bit of the direct sound of Sennheiser's E904 microphones, but only for the Deep Purple songs. 
Overheads are two Neumann U87s, but also any large condenser microphone will do the job. And the placement is called the Glyn Jones technique in which you put one overhead over the snare drum and the other one onto the floor tom side. But both microphones have to have the same distance to the snare drum. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and let us know what era we should feature in one of the next episodes. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and I will see you again in one of the next videos. Take care, Simon out. Bye-bye.